In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at decorators or wrapper functions in Python. So as we know that everything in Python is an object. So if we are creating a function, that is also a type of object in Python. So let's go ahead and create a simple function first of all. So here we'll be writing def greet and this is a function. Inside this we'll kind of create another function. Let's call it as a decorator function. And this decorator will have a print which will say hi from decorator. And once that's done, we'll be returning this decorator. Now here what we'll do is we'll create a variable called f and we'll be assigning this greet method to that variable. And finally, we'll be calling this function f. So now if I save this and run it, you'll notice that it says hi from decorator. So what exactly is happening over here is that this is a type of object which is a function and we are simply assigning it to another variable. Now we're calling the same function using variable f. Now if you try and execute this decorator directly or you try to assign it, so if I try doing this decorator, let me comment this one save this and let's run this. You'll see that the name decorator is not defined because this is inside the method greet. So obviously this is not going to work. Now next what we will be exploring is if we have this greet method except a parameter let's call it as f which stands for function. So what we'll do is here we'll be executing that function and then we'll say print by from decorator. So you can see that these kind of wrappers are helpful when you are trying to work on some methods and there should be some task that should happen before that method gets executed and then there should be some task which gets after the method gets executed. So in those cases you can just make use of these wrappers. So that's why we are exploring this and Python makes it really easy to create decorators or wrappers. So now here what we'll be doing is we'll be creating another function. Let's call it as demo and here we'll simply say print hi from demo and next we will be calling this greet method and we'll be passing this demo inside it and what we can do is we can either assign it to a new object like f over here or we can even assign to the same demo method. So if I now execute this what it is doing is it will first of all pass this demo function to this greet method and then the decorator will be called and it will simply run these three lines. So it will say hi from decorator, then the function demo will be executed, which will say hi from demo, and then it will say by from decorator. And then the result will be basically assigned to demo. So now let's go ahead and run this. You can see hi from decorator, then hi from demo, and then by from decorator. Now this looks a bit confusing. So what Python has done is they have provided decorators. So in order to ensure that this method gets called as a parameter by the greet method, we'll have this greet just above this function kind of a placeholder. So now this demo will be passed automatically as a parameter to the greet method. So here, if I now call this demo, you'll notice that it's automatically calls this line print hi from decorator then the function gets executed and then buy from decorator. So you can see that how easy it is to wrap a particular function inside a function using the decorator placeholder.